Hey guys, Stephen here from Heresy Academy. So this is actually going to be sort of like a two-part video. Um, I'm doing the upgrades now, so I'm classing it as, like I said, it's going to be two parts, although it will say part three and part four. The first part, which is this one, will be about our manual upgrades. Manual upgrades are the upgrades you get per click, and then the automatic upgrades will be per second. So I just if I, if I say manual and automatic, that's what I mean. So that's that. Just thought I'd let you know. So I'm going to start off straight away. I don't need to edit any buttons or anything like that just yet. So I'm going to make another script. So to right click on my script folder, create a C sharp script. And this will be called my upgrade manager. I'll do an item manager later on. So the upgrade manager, like I said, the upgrades will be per click and the items will be per second. So bear that in mind. So I'm going to open this up now in mono develop if it lets me do this. There we, go, there we go, it's opening. Here we go. So the the setup for the automatic and the manual upgrades are very, very similar. Why have you gone red? There we go. Okay. See so if you just raise your voice a bit, your computer your computer listens. So we're gonna add in a few public and one private object. Um, the first public object I'm gonna add will be click. And it recognizes it as a class. I'm gonna name it click as well. Uh, because we're going to reference some pieces of this script. So as you see here, public class, um, click. What you could do is you could inherit here, inherit from click, and then you already inherit from model behavior and stuff like that. But we're not messing around with inheritance or anything. Um, let's just do it this way. So we want a public text. Uh, what should we call it? Oh, not a texture, text. And again, um, should also make a point of going up to the top and using Unity Engine dot UI. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And I'll put a public text will be called Upgrade Info. Then I want I want free floats, and I'm not going to declare any values to these yet. So I'm going to go for cost um, count and Click power. I don't know how you do this anymore. There we go. So what I've done here, instead of going public float, public float, public float, I've made three floats. And I've told it, you know, each one are individuals by making commas, uh, making commas, by putting comma after each one. And I'm not assigned a value to them because I'll be doing that in the inspector view. So each one will be assigned the value zero at the moment. So I'm gonna make a public string now, and this will be our upgrade name. So the name of our upgrade. And then a private float, and this will be called our base cost. Um, I don't really like cost, I'm gonna go base price. So I'll change this up here now to be price. Okay, so you can call it whatever you want, uh, whatever feels better for you. Mm, don't know why I said it like that. Mm, better for you. Okay, better, shut up. Okay, so in the start section then, we're going to get our base price. And it's going to be equal to our price. Okay, so when we start the script, the, the base price is our, whatever we set our price to be in the inspector. And that's all we need to do in the start function for now. And then in the updates, the uh, the update function, we're going to get our upgrade info text and go dot text to make sure we're talking about the text. I'm going to make it equal, and this is a bit fun now. So we're going to equal our upgrade name, and then we're going to plus. Sorry. Um, open up some uh, what's called speech marks and do a backslash and an N. This means to give you like a new line. And then we want it to say cost and then with a space and then do a plus. Do you want to say, or maybe we'll put price to make it make sense because we go cost and then plus price and stuff. So we're gonna then do plus price. And then plus some more speech marks, or what are these called? Double apostrophes, I don't know. And again, with a backslash and an N to say we want a new line. 
And then we can call this power. No, yeah, click power, that's right. Then again, with colon and space, and then we want to click, we want to do a plus, and then do plus click power. And that should be that for this. What we're doing now, like I said, the uh, the backward slash and the N means to give it a new line. So it'll give you the upgrade name, and then the price, and then the power. So we may change this later to, to actually make it say plus the, the click power, and then have it write something like coin slash click or something. We'll change this around as we, as we see fit. I'm just trying to get a feel for what we want to do. So we're going to make now a public void, and this public void is going to be so it's public because we're going to access it from our button and let's call it purchase upgrade open the parentheses and the curlers do a tab so what we want to do now we want to do an if statement and we're basically going to check if our uh, if our coins do we call them coins? I think we did. If our coins from our click script, so as you see now, I was about to point at the screen there, as you see we reference click script because we want to reference our coins. So we're going to see if they are more than the cost. Now, or the price, sorry. Um, so what it will, what the item, what the upgrade will cost. And we haven't set these values here or anything, but it will still work because we'll be setting the values before we start running the script. So yeah. So we're going to go click dot coins. So now we inherit the um, floats, strings, integers, anything we've got in our script, which in this case will be coins, is more than or equal to the price. So I'll mess around with the price later on and we'll, we'll decide what we want the price to actually be. Nope. And then if it is, we're going to do a few things. We're going to do click dot... Uh, Pardon me, dot coins minus equals the price. So what this means is it's going to take off the price from the coins. So if the price is 10, you know it takes off 10. Okay. And then we're going to use our count. Count is basically telling us how many times we've upgraded our uh, we've used the upgrade. So count. And there's two ways to do this. You can do plus equals one and It'll always be plus one. We will never be putting adding to or anything. So another way to do this, and as far as I know, you can only do it with for one, but the value would be you would do plus plus and increment it and that says add one. I don't think there's a way to do it for add two and add three. It's just a quick shot well not a quick shot of cut, but another way of saying plus and equals one. So that's another way. And it works the opposite ways around if you were to do count. Minus minus. You could you could also take away one, but we don't want to do that. Otherwise, everything's a bit confusing. Okay. So now we're going to do click dot. Uh, we're going to do coins per click, and that'll be plus and equals or equals and plus plus and equals. I'm sure, it's plus and equals. Don't tell him I've got this wrong now. Uh, we're plus and equals our click power. Okay, something's gone wrong there. And then what we're going to do is use a bit of maths now, and we're going to use two mathematical functions. One of them will be rounding using mathf.round, which basically rounds it up to a decent number. Um, and then mathf.pow, which is basically using the power of. And what we'll do, oh, I'll write it out and then see if I can show you. So. What we want to go with now, we want to get the price. We're going to be using it to change the price. So to basically make the price, make it cost more per upgrade. So price equals mathf.round. As you see here, it returns f rounded to the nearest integer. So f being your, uh, your, your, your variable. So your value is f. You see there, flow f. So let's say the number was 6.72. It'll round it up to 7, if that makes sense. So dot round and inside some premises we're now going to go with our base price and uh, we're going to times this by what's known as mathf.pow and it returns f rouse to raise to the power p so if you don't understand maths that well um, to the power of basically uh, if you've ever heard of squared or cubed 
If it's squared, it's to the power of 2. So let's say, well, 3 squared or 3 to the power of 2 is 3 times 2. Whereas 3 cubed is 3 to the power of 3. So that's 3 times 3 times 3 sort of thing. So we're going to use pal. And then inside again, we're going to do some, um, just a curly, some uh, parentheses. And if we do 1.1, 1.15f, 1 uh, and then that will be to the power of count. So the value isn't always going to increment in the exact same way. And that's that for the purchased upgrade. I'm going to save the script. And we'll just quickly run through it, make sure I'm happy with what I've got. So the click, upgrade info. Yep, yep. So we need to assign obviously these two values outside. We can change the, vet, the, the values of these and add a name for each upgrade. So the starting price, we're setting it to what the price is. That's right. Yep, okay. Everything's good. I um, hope you don't need me to explain anything. Drop any comments if you do. I'm going to let it load into Unity now. So we're going to assign this um, to each button, like individually at each button. So collect all three of the upgrades and drag the upgrade manager here. And then add one. You don't want to do them all at the same time. Well, actually, you can still grab all three and grab the click. In fact, go to the script. Oh, no, no, ignore that. Never mind. So now we'll go to upgrade one. And our upgrade info text will be the text attached to the button. But be careful now, you don't want to do that to all three. So the price, well, let's say the name first for our first upgrade. Uh, well, what do we want? Staff. I say we well, to add some staff so you get more sales. I don't know. So let's say it costs, well, make it easy, make it 10 for now. The count is zero. The click power, uh, you get five click. Okay. Save that, go to upgrade two. So now we can change that to staff if we wanted to. Go to upgrade two. The upgrade info in this one is going to be the text for this for this button, not that one. Uh, the price of this one, let's say we did it to 100, uh, and the click power could be 10. Like I said, you're going to need to mess around with the maths a bit to make sure it works. We're just making a rough idea now. So, um, staff uh stock i don't know stock price increase uh, we can call it whatever you want we'll come up with better like proper upgrades and stuff soon i'm just trying to get this set up for for us first so then grab the text from the third one add that to the third one price of this one let's say it was just 500 uh the, the click power could be 25 and this one would be fire sale i don't know you could do it where if you buy an upgrade, but it lowers the... No, you don't want to do it lower. No, you can that's a silly idea. Um, right, yeah, so this is now this setup. Um, the only thing that we're missing on all three, we should be able to do it. We add this. In fact, no, yeah, for that one. We want to use... Uh, we added the function on it, didn't we? So add that to ourself. Then for this one, you're going to add the second one. Add it to yourself. Uh, that's the way to get the script to to recognize So the upgrade one you're going to go on functions go to upgrade manager and have a look for purchased upgrade and Then uh, same for upgrade two you're gonna go down to upgrade manager and you're gonna go for purchased upgrade and Then again upgrade manager purchased upgrade So you're gonna save this and it's not gonna have our most desired effect right away what we want to do is go back into Modern Develop and go to your click.cs. So if you close Modern Develop in between the videos, um, open up click.cs, so the click script. And we're going to do another public text. And we'll call this per click. Is that right? Yeah, I thought it had gone wrong there. And now in the update section, just with our coin counter, we're going to go for what we're we going to go for here. Uh, per click dot text. It's very much the same. Equals, and then we want to actually do um, 
coin per click, coin per click, oh, wow. plus, and then in, um, what's it called? Speech marks in quote marks, quotation marks, there we go, that's probably the one. We want to go coin forward slash click, okay? And this is what I was talking about as well in the other one, we might want to change something. Is it this one? Power there, yeah. So we might want to change like the power to, to read just like this, say something forward slash click, power per click, or coin per click in that one as well. So we'll decide that as we go along. So open up Unity now. And if you actually have a look at, let's wait for a second for it to load in. Today would be lovely. There we go. So close this off, coin per click there. So go over to our click button and we go to the click script. Our coin per click here, grab the text from that and add this to our per click. So if you wanted to as well, for each text object, you could change the name of it to help match. Okay, so we save this now and I'm going to click on play. And if everything's gone right, then well, it'll work. So as you see now, let me just not let's not maximize. Try and give you a better idea. Okay, so this is where we're going to start trying to decide how big we want the buttons to be and stuff like that. So you can click on the buttons. So this is telling you now you want to get rid of the clicking ability of these two, but we'll do that in a later video. So sell some fruit, get up to ten. Boosh. So you get six point six coins per click now. Go to a hundred there. Now we get sixteen. Go all the way to five hundred real quick. So you see, it starts to work, starting to come together pretty quickly, pretty nicely. And you know, we, this is where we want to decide now our um, what's it, me doodles? What's it called? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, decide the size of the buttons. We can see. This is called staff, this is called price, it's called power of, equals five. So you might want to have that um, just right five coins per click and ten coins per click, stuff like that, to make it a bit more obvious of what it does. Because power five doesn't really tell you. Maybe power plus five if you wanted, or plus five coins. Um, but because I'm going to add in different, uh, what's it called, different assets afterwards, I don't want to make the the buttons be so super perfect that it's uh, it's not going to go to, you know, it's going to have a lot of mess around later on again, trying to change it for the sprites. So until I've decided what I'm doing there, I just want to show you now the next functionality bit will be adding in this section, which is the automatic upgrades. Uh, we'll, we'll basically have it copying this where it says coins per second. Change the size of our bottom buttons here to, to be able to fit in larger numbers. Um, maybe make them the same width again as that, something like that. Uh, we'll have to consider something as well, um, setting up so when you get to a certain amount of numbers, you'll want to you'll want to shorten it. Otherwise, you just end up with a massive string and it just you know it just runs off. So you want to shorten it. Maybe when you get up to a thousand, change it to one point something k. Get up to a million, one point something m, a billion, one point something b, etc. etc. Something like that. But we'll cover that again in later videos. This is it for the manual upgrades video. Um, I hope you're following along. I feel like we did pretty well in that one. Um, so give the video a thumbs up if you think we did well too. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. If you have suggestions for how to write the code a bit better, if I'm going a wrong way about it or something like that, drop them in the comments too. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Sort of. And subscribe, please.